Cohen has done so much for Gaelic football, both in Cleveland and throughout the Midwest. It's easy to come up with a long and distinguished list of his accomplishments, inspiring attributes, and other accolades. The hardest part is where to start. So to kind of kick this off, Simon is going to come up here and kind of talk about Jimmy, how he started Gaelic football, and how he um, kind of got got us all going over the years. So Simon O'Doherty. We know that Jimmy didn't start the club way back in 1980, and the people who did have been recognized here this evening, and not before time. This should have happened a long, long time ago. But what I will say is since the mid-80s, when Jimmy got out of college, and he came back, and uh, he devoted more time to the club, he has single-handedly steered this ship through through Cam and Rocky Waters for over 25 years, no doubt about it. I have to look at this because I wrote this stuff down. It's 30 years. Jimmy's been, Jimmy's been steering that ship for 25. He don't want any other. He's a teacher. <laughs> His contribution to Gilly Games has not been limited to his role as a player, a coach, and a club man. He served as a Midwest hey. Divisional Chairman for some years and realized that in a division made up of small market teams spread out over a wide area, the only should be on strengthening through accommodation. He was instrumental in the Midwest Division adopting an unlimited substitution rule that ensured that all players on the roster on any given Sunday got to play. Indeed, his motto was, let them play. As he enjoyed his head coach, Jim <coughs> surrounds himself with like-minded individuals who strive for a quality Gaelic football product and share his unquenchable desire for success on the field of play. It is this winning mentality that has helped ensure that St. Jardis, under his leadership, have firmly established themselves as the Gaelic football force within the Midwest Division and beyond. In fact, an accumulation of three national titles, 14 Midwest titles, cements their claim to be the winningest football team in the region. And Jimmy, the winningest football manager stroke coach in the